This is part two of finding a suitable niche for your online business. This video will explain how to find the page rank and average backlinks of your top five competitors. Now before you view this video, you'll want to look at the SEO Quake video, how to download SEO Quake. There are certain preferences that need to be chosen in the preference wizard prior to doing your page rank and average backlink searches. The preferences that I share with you will help eliminate the chance of you getting banned by the search engine. So please be sure to look at the SEO Quake video before you move forward with page rank and average backlinks with researching them on the search engine. Okay, so let's begin. The tools that you're going to need to research page rank and backlinks are Google AdWords keyword tool that you see right here and in order to get to the keyword tool just Google it. Just go ahead and click on the Google search and put Google keyword in there and imme immediately you'll see Google keyword tool and just click on it. Okay and because I already have an account it will automatically take me to my account which is right here. But if you don't have an account with Google AdWords, I highly recommend that you do because there are certain options, certain filters that you can use with your search that will help you. But if you don't have an account with Google AdWords, then some of those filters aren't going to be available to you. So I highly recommend it's absolutely free. Go ahead and set up a free account. The other tool that you're going to need, as I mentioned earlier, is SEO Quake and you want to install that. Be sure to look at the video before you do and if you haven't looked at the video you should go there now and then come back to this okay and the other tool that I plan to provide for you is the niche keyword organizer I actually designed this and I'd like you to have it as well so I'm gonna do the best that I can to get that to you so what we're going to do is determine the competitiveness of your keywords that you have researched already and as you can see I have some of my keywords down below the ideal numbers we're looking for to find niche keywords that have competing pages or websites is a PR of three or less and the backlinks the average of the top five competitors backlinks would be 100 or less these are the ideal numbers that we want and so this is what we'll be researching so I already have keywords that I've been looking at and I have a list of my niche ideas so let's go with the natural food products and see now this seem to me seem like it would be kind of in the market area but it's not the demand for natural food products is 40,500 let's see what my competition is so I'm gonna go to first my Google AdWords tool and I'm going to key in natural food products the next thing I want to do is use my filters and as you can see here this is where you would find your filter options and what I want to do is filter my keywords the global monthly searches should be more than or equal to 10,000 and the global monthly searches also should be less than or equal to 150,000 and I want the approximate CPC to be less than $99 okay natural food products down here okay and the cost per click is a dollar forty four so that's good to know the next thing I want to do is check out my competition so I'm just gonna click on natural food products and in another t tab it's going to bring up the first page all of my competitors that land on the first page now at the top of the page normally in the shaded area you're going to see ads and then down below you should see the organic searches okay now sometimes Google will insert alternate websites that are not natural search results such as shopping results or videos map results or uh, sites that are strict strictly informational like Wikipedia 
and those types of sites we're going to skip because once again they are not natural search results okay so let's look at the organic searches the first one is natural food products here and to find the page rank once you have your SEO quake loaded you will see this little chart here and just click on the question mark where it has PR click on the question mark and this has a page rank of two so what you want to do is remember and you can write it down first it's a page rank of two I'm going to continue we're going to pass up this and the next one what's the page rank it's a five okay so that's above the three that we're looking for let's look at another page rank this one's a three so we're still in the running shop natural is a four so we're no longer in the running if you have two numbers higher than three then it's time to go and move to something else so we're gonna go ahead and go back to our Google AdWords keyword tool and what I'm gonna do is look at some searches that I've been investigating so let me go to my niche organizer and one that I've been looking at is natural soap I did research natural soaps as you can see here with an S and the demand is 40,500 and just by leaving the S off the demand is higher 74,000 so I'm going to investigate the natural soap also this is how much advertisers are willing to spend each month in advertising once again that's an estimate so I need to find what the top five page rank rankings are and also the average backlinks so I'm gonna go ahead and put natural soap in the keyword tool dropping the S and click search okay and the approximate CPC is $1.64 did I put that down I think I did so let me go back no I put $1.54 so it is $1.64 Okay, so I'm going to change that. All right. Go back to here. And this is natural soap, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it. As you can see at the top, the ads. So let's go on down to the organic listings. And you see shopping results here, so we're going to skip that but natural soap handmade with organic ingredients we're going to look at the PR for that one Okay, and that one is a three so we will skip the shopping results and go on to the next that is also a three asparagus soap okay that sounds interesting page rank is a two there Sun Feather page rank is a four and one more homemade soap page rank is a two so this fits within our guidelines let's go back to our organizer and enter those numbers and see what we get here so we have three three two four two so this according to the guidelines that I showed you is a pretty good niche keyword so um, let's continue to research it so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to natural soap and let's take a look at the backlink numbers and we're going to get the average backlink so what you want to do is go to the Yahoo icon with the L next to it and click on the question mark there to see what the backlinks are and the first one is 558 and remember we want an average of a hundred or less this looks like it's going to be more than that but let's continue backlinks for this one 13 and 
let's go ahead and get that calculator. So I'm gonna Okay, so we had the first one at 558 plus 13. And let's continue. And this one is 409, and this one 282. So 409 plus 282, and we need one more. This is 117. So these people know what they're doing. So 1,379, let's divide that by 5 to see what the average is. And it's 275.8. So let's put that in our organizer. 275.8. And of course, you're going to be researching your niche ideas. And each time you research it, you can go through the list and get more ideas. Okay, so if your search was for natural soap or your idea was natural soap, there's plenty of other ideas that you can research in the list. All right, so let's evaluate some of the research that we've done thus far. As you can see with my natural soaps, everything looked great as far as the PR. But the backlinks, for instance, if I had to choose between natural soaps, plural, and natural soap, I would obviously choose the natural soap. The demand is more, it's higher, and the competition lower. This would take some work because remember the guidelines with the backlinks, you wanted something less than 100, even less than 200 is doable, but you're going to, as it gets higher, you're going to have to work harder. But this is something that I would still keep on my list. All right, this one down here, soap ingredients I have, but look at that, this is 2,000. 218.6 backlinks. That's a lot. That you would be doing a lot of work to get that many backlinks to, you know, to even compete with that. So, I and the 459 is a bit much as well. But the weight loss tea looks pretty good even though it's close to 300. I would still keep that one on my list and soap shop. I have this is 257.2. So, if you are adamant about going forward with natural soaps, and this is just an example, then you know that you're going to have to do, you know, a bit more work than if you found lower numbers. But of course, this is just a limited amount of research that I've done. As you continue in your research, you'll probably find numbers that get better and better as well. This completes part two of finding a suitable niche for your online business and finding the page rank and average backlinks of your top five competitors. My name, Selena Brantley, CEO and founder of Wealth Creations Network, and I am definitely honored to provide a zero out of pocket way for you to build your business and create wealth online. To learn more about how you can join Wealth Creations Network's Wealth Builders Club, please click on the link you received from the person that invited you to watch this video. If you weren't invited and found us through the search engines or some other way, please go to www.wealthcreationsnetwork.com and sign up for your always free membership today.